Now, time for Fox Carolina weather. Weather rate certified, most accurate local forecast. Ben Dornbach here with us tonight. Uh, definitely a huge switch in the weather from what we saw earlier this week to tonight. It's yeah. crazy. Colder. Yeah, much colder. <laughs> Colds we've been in actually quite a while, but tomorrow's going to bring some cold rain, so a great day to maybe stay inside in the upstate. There's going to be some mountain snow as well, especially our westernmost locations, and a few flakes are not off the table in terms of the realms of possibility here in the upstate. That being said, though, we're not expecting impacts. Hence, as of now, winter weather advisory only includes these purple shaded counties. So Haywood County westward and south to Raven County, Georgia, where one to three inches of snow are possible from 6 a.m. Saturday to midnight. As you can see, not much happening right now on satellite and radar. We've got a few thin clouds streaming in from the west. Had some flurry reports today from even parts of the northern upstate as we had a little bit of light snow in parts of the mountains. You can see this little plume of moisture. It's in the form of cloud cover right now as, as it's forming along the jet stream, but you can see a little bit of development there uh, along this Mississippi Alabama line that is going to further develop as it progresses eastward and it picks up a little bit of Gulf moisture. It's also got a little moisture from the north as well. So that's going to progress eastward, develop and uh, create a very light moisture system. So it's not going to really produce much, but it could produce a few snowflakes here with our very light cold rain tomorrow. So I'll show you a couple of different models here. Notice timing wise, no real difference. 9, 10 a.m. or westernmost locations start to experience a little rain with a snow mix and then 11 o'clock noon, that's when we start to see it progress into the majority of the viewing area. Most of the snow and the rain mix happening in the mountains, but I'm still not ruling out that possibility here in the upstate, and it likely moves out of the area by 4 or 5 o'clock. Some leftover snow showers are certainly possible later in the evening in the mountains on the backside of the system, but upstate, all rain, any mixing snow should be all done with by 4 or 5 o'clock at the latest. I'm going to show you a different model. This is with temperatures superimposed on them. As you can see, temperature-wise, upper 20s, low 30s, I'm thinking temperatures will be a little bit lower than that. I'm thinking middle to upper 20s for most likely scenarios to start the day. So we'll warm up a few degrees despite the increase in cloud cover. We'll have a, st a south wind in place. Notice the moisture onset in our westernmost locations. Look at our temperatures, 40s, upper 30s, and the same is true by the time it arrives around the 10 a.m. to noon time frame. So as you can see, surface temperature is going to be very warm above freezing, and we're not going to have heavy enough precipitation to really cause what happened a week ago. So we've got a lot of cold air aloft, though. So we could have falling snow, but the reason why it wouldn't stick would be our higher temperatures at the surface. We're below freezing, though, pretty much everywhere else above us. As you can see, we transition to all rain as temperatures start to fall from noon into the late afternoon from the 40s into the 30s, and as you can see, lingering snowfall in the mountains. So bottom line, upstate, it's going to be a mostly cold rain, a rain snow mix possible in both places, and the better chance of light mountain snow happening up in western North Carolina. And it's cold already. 30s forming for our temperatures across the area. And tonight, our low temperature will likely be 28 degrees in the upstate. Mountains, it'll be 24. Some lingering snow under the Tennessee line, but not related to the system. Best chance of rain is going to be the late morning, early afternoon, so a little better chance during the second half of the day. More snow in the mountains, more of like a rain snow mix possible in the upstate, but primarily that's it's going to be a cold rain. So rating the day, just an overall nasty day. Definitely a better Netflix day tomorrow. Stay inside. I'm rating the day three and three out of ten. I came to my consensus earlier after rating it a four. After hours and hours of thought, I decided to change my mind. So after that, we get a beautiful day on Sunday to make up for it. So enjoy that because it's not going to last very long. As you can see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week, temperatures Good news, they're on the warm side, but chances for rain are pretty good. We're going to have a front stall over the area. That's going to create periods of rain and thunderstorms during that four-day stretch before we finally cool back down by Friday. A uh, reminder, you can go to foxcarolina.com by clicking on the weather tab for the latest on this system. And, of course, there's the Fox Carolina News app free to download on either Google Play or the App Store. Guys.